Hello again, and welcome back to Silent Hill. So after making our way to the carnival, or the amusement park, where we met up with Dahlia and Elisa, it turns out that she is the daughter of Dahlia. And now we also made our way back to the hospital, where we met up with Lisa. Turns out she went to the basement to see what was going on, and she went running off. So with that said, let's get into this, I believe, the final video or whatever to see if we can end this and find our daughter Cheryl. So with that said, let's begin. And frankly, we are in nowhere, which is ironic because this is the hospital. But in a said, let's get into the area where the where the generator is making all the noise. camera angle is behind Harry's head, the back of Harry's head. Let me see if I can turn this off, see what it looks like. Nice. But we're not going to do that. Let's just move on to this only door. I'm being summoned. What happened in this town? What could be making things like this? I have a feeling if I take the elevator down, I'll find it. Cheryl. Alright, so now we're back in the hospital, and fortunately we don't have the map anymore for this. The elevator doesn't appear to be working, no doubt. So let's see where we're going to have to go. Hmm. It's Elisa. Fortunately she went to this door. It's locked. The word Peleg is carved onto it. And basically I'm just gonna mess up some of the pronunciation of the word. And it's the same symbol that we've met up, that we've just seen in the previous video. Let's just explore around, see where I have to go. Alright, let's see here. There's a key in the faucet, but I can't get it out no matter how much I pull. That is one of the keys to the symbol room, as I like to call it. Ooh. Oh. And it turns out these things appeared out of nowhere. Looks like we hear sounds. And not only that, the birdcage is locked, of course. Let's just pick up some of these bullets. And let me change my weapon to a much more powerful one. Like this one. Actually, let me try the axe. I've never used the axe before. Let's see how this works. There's one of the nurse. It's kind of alright, but it feels too short. Right, let me check this. That over there. Door way over there. Another symbol that we saw before. It's locked and it has 
Haggith. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but most of these symbols that I keep seeing is kind of make a pretty cool tattoo. Basically around the neck, in my opinion. Wait a minute, this is the same room from the antique. What's going on? Old clock, there is a square hole in the center of the clock. In the hand of the clock is a key. I can get it because, I can't get it because the glass cover, okay? So basically this is just taking me back to the room from the past. Past video, that is. Just a wall, of course. Used to have a hole, but not anymore. We'll just come back to that room later. It's locked, of course. The word Ophel, Ophel. Another symbol room. Now I'm gonna have to go downstairs, see where that leads me. Oh great, I'm back here again. Back at school. There's a desk right there, see, let me see what it says. Go home. Thief. Drop dead. That kid's probably an emo. Let's see what we got here. Oh, there's the screwdriver that I wanted to get. As well as pliers. In the last video, I was trying to find that wall thing, the screwdriver for the wall that I was trying to remove. Not the wall, but the plate that was screwed in there. So apparently I'm going to have to use it for something or find it. Let's go back in one of the doors. I believe this one. No, this is the wrong one. Restroom. Let's just use our pliers to pull it out. Let me get this out. There we go. We got our, the Ophel key, Ophel key. You see, I can't pronounce those words because. All right, let's see. There it is. Oh great, this place again. And we got ourselves a little panel. ABC. As well as this plaque again. Grim Reaper's List. All the way, there's another plaque. Names engraved on the lithograph. The Grim Reaper's List. Yes, the head count is set young and old line up in order of age. Then the pathway open awaiting them, the frenzy uproar, the feast of death. Wait a minute. Let me check something real quick. Oh, I get it now. Hold on. There's a list right there. So basically, the first letter of the alphabet on the first name represents something. So if you go into the first letter, 
it has the clue. So scrambling it frequently, it'll show you. So basically, the password to this is A L E R T. And you got yourself alert. That's the password to the Grim Reaper's list thing. Let's just take care of this thing first, go in one of the rooms. If they're open. And looks like we got another puzzle. Let's see what we got. Two. Looks like a thing to balance. I don't know what it's called. Alright, let's see. Zero. Looks like two fishes. A cow. Or a goat, or whatever. Four. Hmm, hold on a second. Ten. Alright, so basically it's explaining the legs and arm, or limbs, of how many they have. So, as an example, this crab has ten limbs, because the letter ten is over there. Number ten, what I'm saying. Letter 10. Yeah, so anyway, it's just giving a clue just to figure it out as an example. Let's see. So this cow has four legs. And Kidoki, let's see. You know what, let me check the other one. Oh, this is the centaur. The half horse, half man. So he basically has... 10 limbs, because 4 of the hoof and arms. 4 hoof, 2 arms. So I'm guessing this has to be 6. Oh, you know what I just figure out? These things are actually based off of zodiac signs. So the thing with the six limbs is actually the Sagittarius, my zodiac sign. So basically this one is Taurus, which is a four limbs. So it's four. And let me see what's over here. Looks like children. Also, oh, basically, they have eight limbs. So, this is Gemini. Gemini with eight limbs. So, it's that. Okay, so let's see what we have here. All right. Stone of Time. I'll take it. So, this must be the Zodiac Time Puzzle. You know what, I'm just going to use my hammer because this one's much powerful than the axe. Because the axe is much shorter. This has more strength and range. Oh. Oh. See, it takes three hits. Alright, let's see where I have to go. Locked, okay. already been there. This way. Now where am I? Nowhere. Okay, so forward it is. More morgues. Dead bodies. Alright, let's 
Let's see. Nothing but this Jewish sign, that Jewish star, which is the Amulet of Solomon. I keep getting that, the Solomon sign, Solomon star. Something you see from Jewish culture and crypt gangs. Yeah, let's move on. Harry? Lisa, what's the matter with you? I get it now. Why I'm still alive even though everyone else is dead. I'm not the only one who's still walking around. I'm the same as them. I just hadn't noticed it before. Lisa. Stay by me, Harry. Please. I'm so scared. Help me. Save me from them. Please. Harry. <laughs> You don't look too good, Lisa. Yeah, you really don't look well. You know what, I just can't leave, leave, leave Lisa on there. Let me go back and find her. Lisa! She's not here. What's this? There is a diary on the floor. Ask doctor to let me quit being in charge of the patient. It's too weird. Still alive, but with wound that won't heal told the doctor I quit, I won't work at that hospital anymore. The room is filled with insects. Even with doors and windows shut, they get into the spite me to the hospital. Feeling bad, need to throw up, but nothing came out. Vomiting only bile. Blood and pulse from the bathroom faucet. I try to stop it, but it won't turn off. Need drugs. Help me. Ah, poor Lisa. Let me see if she's in here. No, she's not. So basically, Lisa is nothing more than a memory, an apparition to this place. Let's just move on. Uh, this way. Let me check my inventory, see what I got. Check this for a moment. No. Large stone with clock face. Oh, okay. I'm going to have to go to the antique room with the clock. Let's just put this in here.
And it blew right in my face. Key of Haggith. Thank you very much. I'll take it. And let's follow that girl from... No, that's the wrong one. Okay. That room over there. Just another elevator. To the second floor. More of these things. It's quite unique because since I'm already here and I can't use the map, this makes it more easier for me to not edit it my video. And let's check in this room. Looks like I'm back here in the store from the center town. Let's see what I just picked up. A ring of contract. I don't know. Yeah, this is the same exact spaces, places that I've been from the past. I'm trying to memorize it. use it for? Where can I use it for? Get off. Both of them. Oh. Oh. same steel plate, so now I can use my screwdriver. There's a key. Electrically, it's folded to the key. Flowing the key, I'll get shock if I grab it now. So I'm guessing that we're gonna have to turn off the elevator to get it. The generator for the elevator, I meant. Let's see where this gear leads me. Oh, back here. Let me check what I got. Okay, Crest of Mercury. Snake in the symbol of... Mercury signifying. Okay. Why do I have to use these things? Let's see what else I have.
Looks my looks like my only guess is to go to the third floor. Now where we where am I? <laughs> And it looks like we it's the same altar that I've met, that I checked in the past. Looks like an altar, of course. Wonder what they worship. Let's check one of these paintings just to see. The light to the future. And let's check the other one. The light illuminating the dark. Okay, let's try something here. Alright, so basically this is another puzzle. So if you... If you're on your left side, just follow the patterns. Turn it like this, as a backward L shape. This part up in the top. Like this, almost like an arrow, and the last one here is literally an arrow. Now let's do the other one in the back, the right part. Just put this as a cross. The other one like this. And this one as a brick or some sort. There we go. There's supposed to be a hint somewhere, but fortunately I can't seem to find it. Doesn't explain, so too bad. Let's just move on. Check inside one of these doors. bird cage key so now I can just open the key the no, cage I'm already tongue twisting right now my speech Sorry, that was just me cracking my fingers. Alright. Let's just... This one, I guess. There it is. Let's just open the cage to get the little birdie out. Say bye bye, Birdie, because I'm letting you free. And we got the fat leg key. Let's see. Fat leg. Fat leg. Fat leg. I don't know if I'm going to have to censor that because I'm pronouncing that wrong. Oh, oh we got ghost versions of these things, so I'm going to have to ignore them. Uh, boy. 
You know, I'm just gonna come back here later because right now this is a very dangerous thing. And we got ourselves Bethor. Door. And frankly, I cannot kill these ghost child things. I'm just gonna take my time going forth the entire area to see if I got what I need. Because in the kitchen, it's bad news. What's this? Jelly beans? Do you want to open the bag? Of course. Kind of hungry anyway. Oh, man. Well, we found ourselves the Bethor key. Let's check in this door first. Oh, good. We have ourselves the TV. So now we can just put the VCR in it. Let me just get my health. And let's see what's on. What is it? Still has an unusually high fever. Eyes don't open. Getting a pulse, but just barely breathing. Her skin is all charred. Even when I change the bandages, the blood and pus just start oozing through. Why? What is keeping that child alive? I can't stand it any longer. I won't tell a soul. I promise. So please. I do not know what that was, but it had something to do with either... Alessa or somebody else. And we got Aerotron. Don't have to key that for that. Let's see what this is. A door. Though opposes them to guard thy spirit, evokes five rites, unveil thy fate. Let me just look at the thing again. Okay, so you're going to have to get all five items. We already have two of them. So get the Solomon sign here. That's one. And the crest of this, this thing, I can't pronounce it, and we need three more, none of this stuff is on any use, okay, a child's drawing are scattered on the floor, Yes, I can kill these shadowing bastards. This is the generator. Let me just turn this off so I can grab the other key that's wrapped in wire without electrocuting myself. There you are. 
And we got the key of Artron. So let's head back to the area again. If I could find it, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to edit all these out just to make it shorter. According to plan, sheltered in the womb. But it's not done yet. Half the soul is lost. That is why the seed lies dormant. And what soul remains captured in that husk? Is buried deep down in the subconscious. Are you trying to say it won't work? That wasn't our agreement. No, no, these are just stalling tactics. If we lend a hand, we will be able to get power. Never fear, the promise shall not be broken. But the power we could draw now will be very weak. Almost nothing. Unless we get the other half of the soul. We'll use a magical spell. Feeling this child's pain, it's sure to come. But that will take time. Looks like we found Kaufman interacting with Dahlia along with two doctors. Apparently they had something to do with on one of the patients, Alicia, I believe. But there's no sign of Cheryl. Let's see. Alisa. I keep I keep pronouncing her name wrong. Disc of Ouroboros. Pronouncing that wrong. Okay, let's see. Let me just use this camera for something because I haven't tried it out yet. I guess not. I guess I have no choice but to go to the kitchen room. Just go around just to... for safe measure. Now the only reason why you should be careful to go to this room is because there's something in that closet. And there's this thing. So what I recommend you do is to be extremely careful if you have the ring, place it in there so you can get it. But I would not recommend you picking up that sword yet. Because if you do, something bad will happen. Like that. There was a chain broken, but I attached it with the ring. Now, you can pick it up and see what happens. The chain is fixed with the ring, of course. And I got the dagger of Melchio, or something like that. And basically something was trying to pop out of the thing, but failed. So that's the reason why you need to be careful with that place.
Now let's see how much stuff I have now. That's one. Dagger. Eh, there's still one more missing. One item missing. So I'm gonna have to go back and look around just to see if I can find that last remaining item. Check here. <laughs> and looks like we found Alessa as a child. And looks like she's been locked in here drawing these picture. Kind of represent madness. The floors and walls are covered in graffitis. Okay, that's kind of disturbing. But at least we got this. The Anch. Ank. That symbol that I keep seeing somewhere. That I kind of remember one of the refs, wrestler, Raven, was holding that symbol. Uh, that's enough of that, though. Because right now we already have everything we need. So let's just place this symbol here and get into it. So it looks like something bad is going to happen behind this door, so I'm going to have to end this video right now. So thank you for watching this, and I do hope this may be the final chapter of this whole nightmarish part of the area you know but remember if there's anything that you like be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so until then i will see you again in the next video and everything is getting very loud so i can't speak